What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Don't. All right, man, look. All right, man, look. It's Manny Pacquiao, the greatest fighter, pound for pound of all time. Now, Max Kellerman on ESPN, he said, there's a case to make for Manny Pacquiao. He says him himself, he thinks Sugar Ray Robinson is the greatest of all time. I echo that opinion. I do think Sugar Ray Robinson is the greatest ever. And he brought up Sam Lankford. He brought up Henry Armstrong. You could bring up guys, Floyd Mayweather. He brought up Sweet Pea. You could bring up Sugar Ray Leonard. You could bring up Muhammad Ali and all these guys, of course. But is there a case to make for Manny Pacquiao being the greatest of all time? In this video, I'm going to ask you guys, is Manny Pacquiao the greatest of all time. And I'm going to start this debate by saying this. Congratulations to Manny Pacquiao for having that question asked. That is a huge accomplishment within itself. Before we start hating in the comments or start loving, that's a huge accomplishment. Okay, that's why every fight or fight, just to be discussed by the fans, who's the best in your mention. So let's talk about it. Manny Pacquiao. I have a video where I said, hey, winning eight titles in eight different weight classes is a bigger accomplishment than going 50 and 0. And it is. There's many ways to go 50 and 0. I wasn't saying in that video that Manny Pacquiao is greater than Floyd Mayweather. I said the accomplishment is far more big of a challenge than 50 and 0. You can make 50 and 0 many different ways. And there are fighters who surpass 50 and 0 before losing. I mentioned a few of those fighters. So you can achieve 50 and 0, especially when your 50th fight was against a guy who never boxed ever as a professional. Okay. So like I said, there's many ways to do it. So having eight division, having eight titles in eight different weight classes, that's a, an enormous. On top of that, let's look at the resume. Let's see. How much do you value beating Barrera? How much do you value beating Eric Morales and fighting him multiple times? Guys like Marquez, guys like Cotto, going up, you know, winning titles from flyweight all the way up to junior middleweight. Was that it? Or welterweight or super welterweight? This guy has accomplished a ton. Beating the likes of Oscar De La Hoya. And now at 40 years old, beating Keith Thurman, where that is the fight that added him as a true conversation, as someone being added to the conversation. It is that fight. Don't get it confused. The fact that he was 40, year, 40 years old taking on a guy in his prime that is ranked WBA champion welterweight and ranked number three as welterweight. You got Errol Spence. You got Terrence Crawford. And you had Keith Thurman. And this is who Manny Pacquiao chose to take on. Now, like I said, chose to fight him in the first place. That was my big thing. My big congratulations to Manny Pacquiao was taking the fight in the first place. If you look at him, Floyd Mayweather, you got to say you put these two guys together. Who's better, Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, to be considered the greatest of all time? You got to be at least better than Floyd Mayweather. So is he? When... We talk about Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman and that being the fight. Let me tell you how difficult that is to even take that fight. Floyd Mayweather, when he was 39, 40 years old, something like that, he took on Conor McGregor. When he was 38, he took on Berto. Why? Because he knew that himself that that is hard. That's a hard feat to take on somebody ranked and as good as Keith Thurman in their prime when you're an old man. It was Joe Cortez that said Bernard Hopkins outdid Roy Jones Jr. later in the career because Bernard Hopkins, he was disciplined defensively. Who's more disciplined than Floyd Mayweather? But Floyd Mayweather was so defensive, he chose not to take the chance. When you look at Manny Pacquiao, the way he fight, he's not a preserve myself type of fighter. He's a warrior, and he did that, beating Keith Thurman at 40 years old and took that fight. Look, that's amazing because he is a fighter that relies on reflexes. He re relies on his athleticism, not the defensive smarts of Floyd Mayweather. But when you look at him as a fighter, how can Manny Pacquiao be greater than Floyd Mayweather when Floyd Mayweather beat Manny Pacquiao? It's a good question. Now, pound for pound, that doesn't mean that you beat everyone. It doesn't mean that. 
Muhammad Ali, he lost to Ken Norton. Muhammad Ali, he lost to Joe Frazier. You have Sugar Ray Robinson, he lost to Jake LaMotta. These guys, they've had their losses. Now, there's reasons why Manny Pacquiao lost. He was fighting with one arm. Floyd Mayweather, naturally bigger guy. And Floyd Mayweather is great to begin with. Manny Pacquiao, he's had his losses. When you look at Manny Pacquiao at his very best, not being able to uh, beat uh, Floyd Mayweather. Now, I'm not saying he's at his very best then, but I'm just talking about Manny Pacquiao peaking and being so good, taking on Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather was older than Manny Pacquiao, of course. Obviously, Floyd Mayweather was further past his prime than Manny Pacquiao. Look what Manny Pacquiao did against Keith Thurman. But when you look at that and him not being able to beat Floyd Mayweather, you got to think. Sugar Ray Leonard, he took on Tommy Hearns and he beat him when it was time to. Took on Duran no more, no mas when it was time to. But then you say Manny Pacquiao against Floyd Mayweather, that was later in their careers. Well, so was Floyd, so was Sugar Ray Leonard against Marvelous Marvin Hagler in a weight class that Sugar Ray Leonard never fought in, middleweight, and Sugar Ray Leonard beat Hagler. If one of, if not the greatest middleweights of all time. You gotta think about that when you think of Manny Pacquiao as being the greatest. But has Sugar Ray Leonard ever gotten weight, uh, titles in eight different weight classes? Hard discussion, great debate. There's many of you that won't even think of discussing that. There's no way. There's a lot of you that say Floyd Mayweather is the best. He got to be the best. He never lost or has he? Like I said, there's many different ways to become undefeated. But what we can say about Floyd Mayweather is he is one of the best ever. Is he the best ever? I can tell you this. In my opinion, he hasn't accomplished more than Manny Pacquiao. And that's the thing. When I was talking to Joe Cortez, who's better between Roy Jones Jr. and Bernard Hopkins at their peak? Of course, it's Roy Jones Jr., but who's greater career-wise? Now you start thinking. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it is a huge accomplishment to be a part of the discussion. And I am going to go down every day for as long as I'm doing this boxing thing. Sugar Ray Robinson is greater than Manny Pacquiao. But I want to ask you guys, is Manny Pacquiao the greatest ever? I will not call anyone an idiot for thinking so. Showbiz, oh, don't please comment below. Let me know what you think about Max Kellerman's argument, my argument, and your argument. I like to know there's a lot of people who hit me on the DMs talking about, hey, you disgust me because of you comparing Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather as if Manny Pacquiao was greater. I'm just saying that what he's accomplished bigger. I'm out. Huh.